Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakudash. Once again, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakudash. My name is Tazim Makamath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches the truth and rule well. Okay, I just want to go into this, uh, this chapter of Luke 18, okay, and how significant it is, man. All right? And Lord will, this lesson is edifying. This Luke 18, we can start at verse 10. Well, we can start at verse 9. Luke 18 and 9. It says, And he spake this parable un unto certain which trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, Yehobah I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this pub publician, uh, uh, or even as his publican, Salakia. I fasted twice in the week. In the week, I give thighs of all that I possess. All right. So you can see this man is really boasting in his work, boasting what he do for the Lord, man. And he feel like that's righteous what he did. Right, so let's let's get this. Ephesians two and nine, not of works, lest any man should boast. So you shouldn't be boasting about what you do. Oh, I fasted twice in a week. I give dives. You know, I, I give all that I possess. I do this. I do that for you, Lord. You know, you're not supposed to be boasting in the works you do. All right, because the Lord is looking for the humble and the meek. All right, He's not looking for the one that's that does not need for uh for help. So let's get that. Let me get that real quick. Matthew 9 and 12. But when Yahweh heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Okay? So the Lord didn't come for the ones that feel like they don't need help. They don't they don't need, you know, to be saved. They feel like the things they do is uh is good enough. Okay? That what is required, you know, what they do. What there is required for them to be to be saved, man. So you see this man boasting in the works he's doing. Okay? But you as I continue to read, the Lord didn't come for the whole. He came for the ones that need help, that need that are sick, that confess they're sinners. Alright. So reading on Luke 18 and 13. And the publican standing afar off. Would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh shall be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So you can see the other man, he was very humbled. Okay, he was very humble. He confessed that he he was a sinner. He needs help, and that's what the Lord came for. The Lord coming for the ones that are sinners, man, that need help, that need, that are sick. Okay, they know they're not right, man. They know they need somebody more more on a higher level. Okay, you can see the publican. He didn't he didn't boast like the Pharisee did. 
Okay, he didn't boast like the Pharisee did. He and other, what he did was confess that, hey, man, I'm not right. I need help. I'm sick, man. You know, you see, the Lord said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. All right. Okay, so Lord A, the Lord mercy, A, endure forever, man. You know, but you got to confess your sins to the Lord, okay? This is, there's one, there's another count in Luke 7. You know, let's let's get that. We can start at verse 36, man. You know, kind of hits the same point, all right? And it says, and one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to, to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahweh sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster, alabaster box of ointment. So see, you see what she said? A woman in the city, which was a sinner. Okay, she knew she wasn't right, man. She knew she wasn't right. And it says, And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden, bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, will have known who and what manner of woman this is that touch of him, for she is a sinner. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he said, and he, and he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet. But she have washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. <laughs> Thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, have not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil did thou didst not anoint. But this woman have anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore, I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven... The same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. Okay. And you know, you reading this this story. Hey Amen. That's that's referring to us, man. The elect. We got much sins, man. We got many, many sins, man. But we're sick. We we sinners, man. We we done things we're not we're not happy of, we're ashamed of, we ain't proud of of doing. Hey, but the Lord, he forgave us, okay? We have many sins, but the Lord cleaned our slate, okay? Through him, you know, our sins are forgiven, man, okay? Because the faith we got in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that, hey, the Lord could do that for us, man, you know? But you can see, hey, the Lord is dealing with the humble and the meek. He's not dealing with the one that is proud, the one that's whole, that don't need a physician. He's dealing with the ones that need help and that are sick, man. So, Lord will this lesson been edifying. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.